Hey guys, it's Court. What follows is a review from Mikey of Blue Monkey Electric Bikes in Salt Lake City, Utah of the Felt Totem. I wasn't able to cover this bike uh, throughout my travels, but Mikey had one on stock. He is very familiar with it. They've actually used it as a shop bike. Um, I trust him. I feel like he's given an impartial review and he has allowed this to be possible, whereas otherwise I might've missed the bike and people have requested it and stuff. So I welcome you to chime in with your thoughts. like. Was this okay? Should we do more of this in the future? He didn't have a camera stabilizer, but I feel like he still gives a good overview of the bike. So anyway, sit back, enjoy, and share your thoughts. Okay, we're here in beautiful Murray, Utah at the Murray Mansion checking out the Felt Totem. Now the Felt Totem is a cargo bike from, from Felt Electric. They have made other cargo bikes like the Felt Brew Hall. Uh, and this is like their smaller kind of scaled down version of the brew hall. It has the same uh, design and everything with the, you know, the, uh, the top tube coming down there and the bottom tube coming down to the mid drive unit. The felt brew hall has the Bosch mid drive. This one has the Shimano steps mid drive, uh, which includes the motor and the battery and the display um, all up in there. And yeah, this is a really great looking beautiful bike with a really good finish uh, and it has a quite a lot of features to talk about and so let's go ahead and dive in and talk about uh, what we're looking at here so it's a really pretty bike with a finish that they call root beer they call this color uh, root beer brown which is really nice i know that we've had a lot of folks who've been very very pleased with how good it looks uh, it comes in a few different sizes small medium large which is really nice this one is the medium of course and all of them are going to be kind of a scaled down version of that larger cargo bike so uh, keep in mind that this is i guess what they would call a light duty cargo bike you can still carry kids and carry other kind of uh, cargo on the back area it can still do that but if you wanted to squeeze two kids seats on here it really wouldn't work for that it's more of like a one kid and maybe a bag or possibly two as we have it set up here there's no kid seat on it obviously um, but you can still get quite a bit on that cargo rack uh, but let's go ahead and keep talking about some of the mechanical aspects now the frame is made of aluminum and the fork itself also aluminum uh, the shifters it's it's using the uh, Shimano Dior um, for I think they call that the rapid fire uh, for their shifters here uh, down tucked under there underneath the brakes uh, and the brakes itself uh, also Shimano um, now the front brake and the rear brake is something else I wanted to point out that the front brake here has a larger um, disc I think that's 180 millimeters if I remember right and then the rear has a smaller uh, disc that's if I remember 160 millimeters and uh, that's really useful for stopping power when you're on a bike uh, if you didn't know most of your stopping power uh, from a physics standpoint comes from the front brake uh, that's where a lot of your power comes from so it's actually a good thing to have a larger brake on the front because that's going to have more heat that's going to have more stopping power as you're actually riding your bike around so uh, another great thing about this bike is along with the other features that it has um, on the mechanical side it has a lot of things that are really good for cargo the kickstand the dual-sided kickstand which pops out and helps you get a lot of cargo on here without having to worry about it tipping if you had a single-sided kickstand and the entire bike was leaning it'd be pretty tough to safely load things on here especially kids you know it'd be really tough to put some kids on the back here uh, with it tilted over but with that kickstand that uh, pretty much solves that issue right off the gate now because of the smaller deck that you have here on the cargo area they only have enough room for one of these uh, bamboo plates the brew hall the felt brew hall comes with two of those that fit on either side and also comes with bags and that's something interesting that uh, we found from the both the felt brew hall and the felt totem that we have here is that they come with two bags it's not something that they list on their site as a matter of fact on the felt website they list each of these bags for $99 but all the bikes that we've seen come through the store which is about five or six by now all of them have two bags on it and it's a really nice bag let me show you about it so it's got the embroidery for the felt electric logo which is pretty cool but even in then it's got some great stuff inside of it I mean this isn't that great I mean it's a cargo net but it has some compartments with both you know the velcro on either side for small quick stuff uh, with a zipper pocket that you can zip uh, right down the middle so that you can kind of have two kind of like pseudo compartments in there 
It also has this front little spot for quick access for something like keys. Uh, and it also includes a rain fly for the entire bag with each one. And the bag itself closes and it kind of hooks in there, which, you know, a lot of people find that really convenient without having to worry about buckles, little plastic buckles breaking. These are, you know, some pretty stiff, um, pretty stiff securements right here. Um, I myself, I don't know, I find those hooks like a little tedious to get on and off, but I can see that being really, really nice for a lot of folks who just want to get quick access. And for me, I'm, I'm a little faster than that, so I try to get something Velcro that I can slap over it. But nonetheless, just a matter of taste. But the bike comes with both of these bags. It also flips up really nice to, you know, you can put these little hooks not only to close the bag from um, in its open position, but also close the bag in its collapsed position. Uh, I don't have enough hands to do that here, but you can collapse the bag pretty well tight. And that's pretty awesome. I really like that this, this bike not only comes with uh, the capacity for cargo, as far as the frame and uh, the, you know, just the overall layout, but also comes with the bags too, which is really, really a good feature. So hopefully they keep doing that. I, I hope they don't stop at some point and realize that they're giving these bags out. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the bamboo board, uh, this bamboo board can come off and it's not too tough. You got a couple of little rings back in there. Uh, there's four of them for the bamboo board pop that right off and another great thing is that these rails right here on the cargo area these can fit um, a yep seat so yep is a very very popular kid seat um, that is on the market right now and those rails automatically fit the yep seat as it is you don't have to get an adapter you don't have to you know, file anything down or modify the yep seat at all it just fits right on there and so that's something that I personally like a lot because you know I have a I have a little child I got a little one year old baby and we've ridden around on the totem before and it's really easy to just get that seat on and off the way that the yep seat clips on and off of the back of the bike it's really really handy and so that's one of the strengths of this bike is that it comes ready comes very ready to ride so let's talk a little bit more about the specs um, so as far as mechanical uh, it has some internally routed cables which a lot of electric bikes are coming with things like that not this brake cable of course but we'll come around here so internally routed cables both for the electric and for the mechanical system and so that's really really nice you don't have to worry about as you're pedaling or even more so if you got kids with feet dangling down here getting all caught up on anything like that that's all pretty well taken care of the handlebars on it have a little bit of a curve to them uh, as you can see here a little bit more comfortable of a riding position now, this stem can be adjusted so that you can pull it kind of up and then rotate the handlebars if you wish to get a better a uh, better uh, you know, uh, what's the word uh, wingspan I suppose as you stretch your arms out and also the bike comes with a static seat post it's a little thin you know some people might not like the the thin seat not only for the size of how tall it is but also how wide it is and that's just a personal preference I myself don't mind it at all um, but a really nice touch for this seat that it comes with is that it has the pinstriping in the same color scheme as the bike itself and that's one really nice detail that Felt has put into it and that's one thing that Felt kind of prides himself on which is kind of a hard thing is that Felt uh, pays a lot of attention to detail especially with the weight uh, they've they pointed out to me before that they're very uh, concerned about the weld points and how much that adds to weight and they're really trying to cut down on the total weight of their bikes. And I realize that a cargo bike is really not the <laughs> best example to show that in, because uh, let's face it, a cargo bike is, it's gonna be heavy no matter what, and you're gonna be carrying stuff with it, so weight isn't as much of a concern. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if they list the weight on uh, their website as a result. Uh, maybe they feel it can't compete to all the other really nice lightweight bikes that they have <laughs> as far as weight But it's a great great system nonetheless and lots of attention to detail and speaking of that Let's talk about the electric system, uh, which is really a good part about this bike in general. Well about any electric bike so as I mentioned before, uh, this bike uses the Shimano Step System, whereas the larger one, the Felt Brewhall, uses the Bosch Mid-Drive. Now the Shimano Steps is a really good system. We've tested it out before and it's done really well. Uh, it's got the battery here, which is actually a pretty good capacity. It's a 36 volts and 14 amp hours for the battery alone, which is pretty big, especially for this small container to fit right here on this mount on the down tube. Really good location, having the weight centered here. I realize that you're going to likely have cargo on the back there, perhaps something heavy like a you know a kid who's a little older but having the weight up front right in here in the middle as compared to all of it in the back it's really going to provide a lot of stability as you're riding around and also the mid-drive unit let's talk about the motor itself uh, so the motor has a 250 watt 
uh, you know, nominal output, but also has a 500 watt peak output for that motor, which is really, really nice. We found that the Shimano step system has been a very good competitor in the electric bike uh, motor realm. Now let's get a good look here. So it comes with its own uh, motor unit, of course, fitting inside the casing that felt provides, and also with the mount, the battery, and even the crank itself uh, is all from Shimano. Now it is a lithium ion battery. It takes about four and a half hours to charge. No surprises there. Uh, the range on this bike, if you're going full blast, is going to, uh, they say is going to be somewhere around 35 miles is their estimate uh, for the Shimano step system. But again, if you're carrying something really heavy, then that's going to affect everything. You know, it's different, different strokes for different folks. You're going to experience different things as you ride the bike and different bikes as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn it on. So there is the on off switch right here on the battery and you probably won't see it in the sun, but the little lights come on there. Uh, and then the system has this display here. Now this display is what comes on the felt totem as of now, but the felt uh, totem is using this system because that's what they have a supply of. The next Shimano step system has a different uh, display that's a little bit taller. And some of the newer bikes are gonna have that display system already. And that's going to be a change out that is um, coming to just about all of them, if I remember right. Let's go ahead and get into the shade and hopefully we can see the display a little bit better. It's probably way too much glare and uh, hope you can bear with me while I uh, try to get this a little easier to display. So uh, in the sun or out in the beautiful sun like we are today, uh, you probably don't see it as well as I'd like, um, but the system has a few different um, uh, modes of assist and it has a beep on it when you change the settings here on the grip attachment So on the grip attachment it has just a simple up or down and a little menu button and The up or down changes the assist level eco norm high and then it will beep a couple times to show you that it's reached the top uh, Also, there is an integrated light system that works off of the main battery, which is really nice pressing and holding the uh, Display button or the variable display button. It'll turn the lights on probably won't be able to see it, but that light's coming on uh, right there and it also turns on the backlight as well which is something I like a lot <laughs> so the backlight has a really big reflector here uh, which is of course always reflecting but it also has the light uh, on the top and also on the bottom of the reflector uh, which turns on with the front light again working off that main battery so you never have to worry about changing batteries on your lights at all it's just always working which is really really a nice feature to have. Uh, I can't tell you how much I like it. I'd never want to go back after having that feature. So, uh, and while we're down here, you know, these are the fenders that come on the bike as is. Really nice fenders, they're pretty lightweight. Uh, they're pretty wide too, which is really nice. Uh, you don't want a lot of gunk coming up on you or your kids in the back. So having those fenders is really good. Uh, also on the front, the same deal that we got working on. And so that is the bike in general. Uh, well, also in detail. Um, other things to talk about is it felt has some other accessories, uh, cargo accessories. I don't recall the compatibility of it at the moment off the top of my head. And they have been working on it for a little while. When we first got the brew halls in, they had talked about having running boards and about having you know, some bars across the, the waist of the kids and seat adapters. I mean, this one doesn't need it, uh, things like that. And we saw some of them coming out, uh, but I'm not sure is the compatibility onto this bike because when we initially heard about that, they they weren't talking about the totem quite yet this is still it's not new to the market but it's uh you know it's not their oldest bike um, but there are some uh, little attachments here for mounting a front cargo carrier uh, one that sticks out like so um, more in line with something like the uh, uh like the pedigo stretch for example has um, a rack uh, coming out from the front uh, to haul things up front and I'm pretty darn sure that's what these things are for is to mount that on there as to whether they have that you'll have to check their website for availability if they have done if they're done making that and selling that uh, we haven't seen it quite yet in our shop yeah other things to talk about down here uh, not a whole lot of surprises with the uh, with the system down here in the guts may as well pull off this, um, this whoop, pull off this bag so I can show you uh, the drive unit here for the mechanical drive unit so up front you have the Shimano uh, crank uh, again and then you have this cog here to get it out of the way of the kickstand a dual-sided kickstand so that's nice you know and keep your feet nice and clean when you're opening it or sorry uh, collapsing or retracting the kickstand here and then you got the Shimano Dior um, derailleur down here uh, with all the cogs and all the gears and everything like that. Uh, I myself specialize in electric, so. <laughs> and here is really some of the, the great part of it is that you have the rack that is, you know, that is bolted on 
to the frame itself. And so if there is an issue with the rack, which we have seen that before with other cargo bikes where um, there will be a weld point or something like that that will come off, it's not, it's not common. It's extremely rare for that to happen among all cargo bikes that we've tried, but it is a possibility. And so having a cargo rack that can bolt on and off from the main frame is actually pretty handy for that reason. Uh, and I'm sure it, it might help them in manufacturing as well, help them keep the price down for this bike. So yeah, another thing to, uh, while we're down here is the little rotation counter for the back wheel. So that's onto the spoke right there. And then this is part of the Shimano electric system right here at the end of my finger that's counting the rotations of the back wheel. And that's what it does. It's, it's counting rotations of the back wheel. It's counting cadence from the, the pedals. And it's also counting torque. So you have those three things internally within the Shimano system helping to provide you with the right assist that you need. So it's a pretty, it's a really good system. I mean, it's, uh, it's very much like the Bosch system uh, as far as how it performs and how it feels. Um, in my experience, it's a little bit louder, um, but that could just be the roads that I'm on. You know, I'm not certain. I don't have a, exactly a sound testing lab to, to test it with, but while we're at it, let's go ahead and jump on the bike, ride it around, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. We're riding the felt totem. Uh, which I don't think I mentioned. Um, I'm still not sure if it's tote them, like tote and then like an apostrophe E-M kind of thing. I mean, I know how it's spelled, but I don't know what they're going for. Like tote them, like tote the kids, tote totem, as in like a, a talisman or like a symbol, totem. Uh, I don't know, fun stuff to think about. Anyways, so here we are riding the bike and it has one front chain ring um, from the Shimano system and it has all the gears in the back to select from and honestly that's really fine Having a ton of gears is really nice for mountain biking But for something on the road, especially with an electric system having a ton of gears up front and in the back is uh, You know in some ways it can be overkill I mean a lot of people really like having all those options and that's great, but I myself I just stick with one up front So that's that's the way I do it um, But yeah, the bike uh, the totem uh, is surprisingly nimble for what it is uh, honestly, it's just surprisingly nimble anyway, even if you were comparing this to a regular commuter, um, not so much a mountain bike, but if you're comparing this to a commuter bike, it's really, really nice to steer. I mean, the, the handlebars uh, have that curve to them, so it's comfortable. But aside from that, the, the way that it moves, the way that it maneuvers, how it's, again, a light duty cargo bike that doesn't really have the same length of wheelbase as some of the larger cargo bikes, such as the Hall or the Yuba Mundo, for example, they both have a really long, really long stretch for their wheel to wheel measurement. Uh, but this one's a little lighter and it's really nice. I really like the light cargo bike uh, design that this one's going for. And as far as the, how it pedals, it pedals really easily with the electric system, like most of them do. Uh, this system doesn't really go a whole lot of high speed. Uh, so they have it capped at 20 miles an hour. Um, but in all reality, the way that I've ridden it, it feels a little more like 20-ish <laughs> miles an hour, kind of like uh, maybe like 19, like 18 and a half to 19 miles an hour. Uh, once you start getting past that, you really got to press hard to get the system to go 20 miles an hour in all reality. And so the, the actual output very well could be up to 20, uh, the way it's programmed. But for me, it just, it felt like the comfortable cruising speed was around 18 miles an hour, 18 and a half right around there and getting to 20 was kind of a stretch. And so compared with a lot of other electric bikes um, that we try, including the Bosch, uh, they give you power all the way up to 20 in a lot of cases. Um, and so having this system, which kind of, it scales down the power very comfortably, I should add, it's very comfortable the way that it pedals and the way that it caps out at that top speed. Um, and as a result, it's very, very nice. Very, very nice, especially if you're carrying precious cargo. But like I said, if you're looking for something high speed, this isn't the bike for you. But if you're gonna be carrying kids uh, the way that I do, or the way that my wife does with my little girl, uh, you don't wanna go fast. <laughs> so, you know, I totally, totally get that. Having a bike that doesn't go super fast uh, for a cargo bike with a kid on the back, it's, it's perfect, makes absolute sense. So if you're interested in this bike for the purposes it's built for, then yeah, I don't see any problem with the top speed. But it is something to keep in mind, you know, when, uh, when you read the specs on the website. Uh, so, which by the way, we have the full specs and write-up uh, on electricbikereview.com, uh, including some photos. So uh, be sure to go there. Um, anyways, with uh, the shifter, uh, like I said, it's got one shifter here for the back, um, the back set of gears. 
and it has a pretty good range. Uh, when you crank it all the way up full blast, I don't know if you can see the, the high speed and hopefully the wind isn't uh, affecting the video too much, um, but you press them pretty hard to get it going. And then somewhere around here, 18, uh, 18 and a half or so, it starts, that's about comfortable cruising speed. And then when you get past that, when you get to 19 and a half, and especially 20, you feel like you're working pretty hard. It can do it, it certainly can. It's there, so uh, don't worry. Um, and yeah, this one has the, what is now the older display. Uh, this little box here, a little smaller. The newer display uh, is gonna be a little bit taller, maybe a little bit thinner, but mostly taller. It's gonna be a lot easier to read. And I wanna say it has more features on it as well. Something like, a, this one already has quite a few features on the display, uh, such as an odometer, a uh, clock, um, you know, speedometer, you know, the, you know, the things like that, that uh, you come to expect from a lot of really good electric bikes such as this one. I also got a bell on it, you know, can't forget that, especially if you're riding around in an area with lots of pedestrians that, uh, that don't hear you coming. And there's a very good chance that they won't hear you coming because you're on an electric bike. So this bike is really a lot of fun. You can see that I'm pedaling it without my hands. I got one hand using the camera and one hand pointing out some of the features. It's not a hard bike to pedal. It's very comfortable, very well balanced. It's, it's a really comfy cruiser bike. It feels like a really comfy cruiser bike, even though it's a cargo bike. And that's something that is really, really nice to have. Other cargo bikes um, are, they go for cargo, 100% cargo, and there's nothing wrong with that. But as a result, they're really big, they feel a little cumbersome to ride sometimes. A bike like this, it compromises the cargo capacity. You're not gonna be able to carry like three kids on this thing, really under any circumstances. Let's say stand on each other, but realistically, you're not gonna carry three kids on a bike like this. You know, two, uh, two bigger kids perhaps, um, but not in the seats. Uh, so you do compromise some of the cargo capacity uh, for that really comfortable, really nimble, really agile ride uh, that this bike provides. And I should mention one other thing, and that's that the felt brew hall uh, also feels really nice for how big it is. It feels really nice. We were actually very surprised by the brew hall. It's bigger, uh, it is a little bit cumbersome, but it's not an end of the world kind of thing. So if you're interested in both bikes between the two, and cargo is a little more important to you, then I would not rule it out on a basis of, of comfort or a basis of, of agility. The Feldbrew Hall feels really good for what it is because it's a long bike. This one's a little bit shorter and this one feels great. This feels like a sports car in comparison to some of the bigger cargo bikes that carry tons and tons of stuff. Uh, a good comparison uh, in that respect would be the, uh, the Pedego Stretch. Uh, the Pedego Stretch can carry like 400 pounds on the back. I mean, that thing is very modular. It can carry tons of stuff. Great bike, but it's pretty heavy. It's a heavy bicycle. It's a little bit harder to ride. Uh, and, the, and as a result, the electric system is really strong. I mean, that thing's like a, a rocket ship in some cases. But if you want something that's more comfortable as a bicycle, something that you can get on and pedal and feel comfortable and familiar with uh, the first time you ride it, then yeah, the... Uh, the felt totem that we have here is a perfect bike for you. Perfect. Uh, let's see, hopefully this guy doesn't hit me. All right, cool. I kind of snuck up on him on a bike, so I don't blame him at all. Anyways, so here we are riding the bike, and I'm going to tell you once again to visit uh, electricbikereview.com for the full write-up and the full specs, and also chime in with your opinion. You know, we want to know what you think. Have you ridden this bike, or do you have an electric cargo bike of your own that you'd like to add some comparisons to? And we would love to hear it. So. Once again, uh, I'm Mikey uh, for Electric Bike Review, and I'll see you guys on the site. And one more thing, stay safe.